In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. This is the story of Donald Trump. His entire life, Trump has believed he's above the law, that no one would ever dare hold him accountable. He lies. He rips off workers. He sexually abuses women. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. He cheats in business. He cheated on his wife with a porn star and paid her off so the American people wouldn't find out during an election. But in the criminal justice system, ordinary Americans have had the courage to find him accountable time and time again. Guilty. 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 Donald Trump guilty on all 34 felony counts. For the first time in history, we have a convicted felon running for president. And to take on this case, we need a president who has spent her life prosecuting perpetrators like Donald Trump. He tried overturning Georgia's free and fair election. I just want to find 11,780 votes. He's tried to escape any responsibility for instigating the January 6th attack on our Capitol. We're going to walk down to the Capitol and I'll be there with you. And if elected, Trump has promised to overturn laws that would keep him accountable and exact retribution on anyone he considers an enemy. Even warning of a bloodbath if he doesn't get his way. So we the people have a chance to render our own verdict on Donald Trump. We are the jury he most fears. When we vote this November, we vote for justice, accountability, and the rule of law that keeps America free.